So after a lot of hassle trying to get the pressure sensitivity buttons working in PCSX2 and actually getting it working, I've taken it upon myself to point others in the right direction as well. So I think that might be actually the hardest part is knowing what exactly the issue is and what the limitations are. First thing, uh, you need a PlayStation 3 controller. DualShock 2 controllers for the PS2, they don't work for the most part because usually they come with adapters and the adapters themselves are the limitation because they send a digital signal. Uh, they convert the analog signal from the face buttons uh, into like a digital signal, like an on-off instead of like how hard you're pressing, you know. So first thing, buy a PS3 controller, it's pretty much the only thing that'll work. Um, mine didn't actually come with a USB cable, so you might have to buy one of those too. Uh, unless you get it working over Bluetooth somehow, but whatever. So first thing you want is, uh, is a set of drivers. They're called the SCP driver package. These are the thing, this is pretty much all you need to get the pressure sensitivity working. So you go to the download, download page, it looks like this. You get the latest version and the update. I don't know if the update is 100% necessary, but I'm going to use it. Okay, once you get these, put them on your desktop or anywhere, whatever. And this part, they say you have to do it, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. Driver package, go to properties, and then it says unblock. I guess. Is this, a, this is for Windows 7 and 8 mostly, so I guess it's a new security feature where you have to do things like this all the time. So, you unblock it, take the files, extract them. Neato. Take the files. Oh, wait. This is the update. You get two folders in the SCP server folder. The source one you don't need. You can delete it. And here's the second one. Let me see what's in here, actually. 132 bin. Bin? Where's bin? Whatever. It's in here, yeah. Okay, so I guess just go ahead and update it. I don't know. Replace them. Okay, yeah, it still works. So, first one you want to click on SCP driver. Run it as an administrator, of course. If you're on XP or Vista, force install. Otherwise, just a regular install. Usually, first time you run these, you'll get three like extra things here to put them. But uh, for some reason, mine didn't this time. Oh, and I forgot to mention, you should put this SCP folder in a program like, um, like, uh, program files, uh, like this, Scarlet Crush Productions. Put it in there. I'm just doing this temporarily, though, because I already have it set up. Put that shit in there, in the bin folder. Run this, run the monitor to make sure your controller is recognized. Oh, I forgot to mention, you need the, like, the Xbox 360 controller drivers. I'll put the link to that in the description. You gotta install those drivers first, too, for, like, X input and stuff. So, your controller is detected. It says it's charged. Cool. Alright. Uh, go into this 132 folder. In PCSX, the problem, primarily, is that it doesn't have the right plugins for the controller. You see here it says Lillipad R5875. You go in. For DualShock 3 native mode, which is what you need for pressure sensitivity, it says it requires something called Live USB, which I actually have because I went into this PS3 controller stuff blind, didn't know what I was doing, so I installed Live USB. You don't need to do that. So, that's the wrong plugin. We don't need this. We don't need Poco Palm, even though these may work. I'm not sure, but I haven't explored them yet. So, just exit PCSX2 for now and go into your plugins folder. In here, this is what you need. This is the plugin. This is the holy grail of pressure sensitivity. This is what you need. You put it in there. Put the shit in there. Go back into You go back into PCSX2 under plugin bio selector where it says pad and it's pretty much the same version driver except one is the SCP version and one isn't. This is the one that's SCP. It says it right there. Uh, click apply after you select it then go into configure now you can see here all my all my things pretty much like it doesn't even know what's going on anymore you just 
do that or whatever. You don't even have to do that. DualShock 3 native mode is grayed out. It requires SCPX input DLL, which we happen to have right here in the SCP server folder, bin 132x input. There it is. The program usually crashes whenever it's not fully set up, but the crashes go away. So they want the X input folder not in the plugins folder, but just right here in the root folder where the executable is. So once you got it in there, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna copy this instead of dragging it because I don't know, I don't know if if it's required in both folders to work, but if it is, whatever. They're not big files, so it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, uh, controllers, plugin settings. You can see it's not grayed out anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and click it and then apply. And then basically what you do from there is you just set up your controller like usual. Um, yeah, you know how to do this, so I'm just going to not talk. I think that's everything, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's everything. All right, cool. So to demonstrate it working, I'm gonna. Well, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna. Do this just for the sake of whatever. Okay. <coughs> This is pretty much a stock PCSX2 installation or whatever. It's not really an installation, but it's stock. All the settings are stock pretty much. The only thing I've changed is the plugin, the controller plugin, and the BIOS, and what you just saw just now. So there's a really loud explosion here. Where's the explosion? Okay, not interested in that. Okay. Subsistence, pulse up with them. Uh, why is it in Spanish? English, there we go. Okay, load game. Uh, 2013, well. Alright, load successful. Now, if the pressure sensitivity works, I should be able to not shoot this gun. So, uh, here we go. Alright. Seems to be fairly consistent, too. Like, if you don't want to shoot, you can pretty much not shoot. If you take your time. I'd imagine once you got good at the game, though, you'd be able to do it. Not that quickly, but quickly. Yeah. yeah, so that's it. That's pretty much all you gotta do. Um, getting getting the SCP driver package is pretty much where a lot of people are clueless because they're not even sure it exists or what the issue is. So that's pretty much all you gotta do. It actually tells you right here once you find it that that's what you gotta do. <laughs> yes, you know the plugins directory. Um. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Later.